Hi there, Science Speaking. This video is called Climate Change Weather Talk. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. As they say, here we go. So, yes, this planet Earth we live on, the whole world as we know it, has been warming up and getting hotter and very cold periods for the last 50 billion years. Oh yeah, 50 billion years. So, the thing is about climate change is there are seven volcanoes in the world, we know, super seven, seven super volcanoes, and one of them will go off, the one in Yellowstone Park, the one in, called Mount Studios in Italy, one of these seven volcanoes will go off. If they go off, what we're doing to try and save the planet now could all be in vain. So there's that scenario. They might not go off this century, this 21st century, but if they do, that would be a big issue, but that's one scenario, one parallel of the line we could go down. But the thing is about climate change is, it's been warming up and getting cold for the last 50 billion years. Well, as humans, we have completely contrasted to that uh, since the Victorian state, Victorian era, back in the 17th to the 18th, 19th century, unfortunately. And we didn't know what we were doing was bad for it. Trees and plants do play quite a bar role in Reducing the amount of oxygen, reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. They like us a lot. We need them. But if we keep cutting down more trees, unfortunately, we do take trees in the rainforest for our toilet rolls. As artists need paperwork, there's furniture in our house, um, unfortunately. And there's a lot of human beings that need that material. There's millions and billions of people on planet Earth need all those materials for certain jobs and certain things. And it's still used today. Um, probably not as much as it was. We used to build ships out of wood in the um, 18th to the 19th century. And they were basically, we cut down our own trees, actually. Uh, our own oak trees in England. Quite sturdy. Oak's quite heavy, but quite hard. But very expensive material to use. Um, very expensive. So that's um, that. And um, yeah, so as they say, just keep uh, an eye on the um, climate, the weather, and um, there's one thing you could, you can do about um, climate. It's not to do with climate; it's completely different. But it's light pollution. Is basically um, this would be, in my opinion, outside your house, 150 yards between each street lamp, each street lamp at least. Um, this is the easiest thing you can do about our climate. And um, perhaps, in my opinion, I think the government of England. Theresa May, at the moment, should actually forget about Brexit and perhaps providers and get rid of all the street lamps and perhaps make sure the shops at night don't have them street lamps on, well, lights, the shops don't have lights on and they're switched off. Um, by the one, a head torch like this is quite powerful um, to uh, the public in England to get around, um, basically, like this one here, and it's got batteries you can charge a USB port. And basically, um, uh, that's my opinion. The government should provide that so people can walk around that uh, a lot. And um, then the light pollution will be reduced because um, less people, well, less lights outside, just using head torches, they won't be out all the time. So that's the one way to reduce the amount of light pollution. So that's light pollution and the plastics in the sea. We should do something about it. But I don't think we should worry about it too much um, or stress ourselves out about it too much. We just do a little bit of time with stuff in the world. So that's my opinion about the climate. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. May the force be you always. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please keep safe. And if you like this video, enjoy it. Uh, that's my talk about climate change. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.